We've got pictures from inside Giga Texas, and man, is it looking juicy. I'm Brian. Welcome to my Tesla Weekend. Mad thanks to Joe Tetmeyer for allowing use of these photos. He asked that I not disclose who took them, but he also didn't tell me who it was, so that part should be pretty easy, I guess. Most of these pictures were taken in roughly the same spot, right about here on the map and on the ground floor. There's some others, but we'll get into that later. So let's get into what can actually be seen and what it tells us about the progress inside Giga Texas. Here we're facing north inside the building, looking toward the new battery area in the northwest. The first thing to notice is the height of the ceilings, which even with the utility work hanging down, provides a good 18 feet-ish of clearance, about, what would that be, six meters of clearance? This apparent upper floor here is not an upper floor, it's a catwalk, as you can tell by the presence of a second handrail on the opposite side. This is the same area facing the same direction, but with a slightly better lighting. You'll notice the floors are in as far as the eye can see, and that's true of all the photos, but they are only taken from a few spots. We know it's the right place because the end wall is an interior wall. It's yellow instead of green, while the outside to the right looks to be the opening where the big green wall at the north central kind of area has been placed. In this shot, again, in roughly the same place, we can see that an awful lot of the overhead utility canals have been installed, with more components handy for additional work. And we can confirm that this is a catwalk and not a higher floor. We haven't seen much to tell us how far along this northernmost wall, which divides the general assembly area, where this was taken, from the battery area is, well, it's pretty far along. though. It has only reached the roof line across half the building, as you can see on recent drone footage from outside. Yeah, I might need to update this for next week's Giga Texas Math Tracker. This is the same area, facing the same direction, though looking slightly more to the east. I don't know what all these hanging roof attachments are for, but if you have insight, please share it. The takeaway from this picture is that there are a lot of supplies in here, and a lot of work is already done. Looking a bit more to the east, you can see an awful lot of pipes have been installed, and the ductwork looks essentially finished. The ubiquitous standing water may be in part to finish curing the concrete, and I believe that because it's so uniform and continues completely throughout the building in this area, but not in other areas that are more open to the weather. But, you know, if you know better, I would love to hear that. This looks like it was taken from about the same place, but facing due east. The other side of that green wall is likely the open central corridor where footing work is underway outside. The takeaway here is that you can see no fewer than five scissor lifts, suggesting that outfitting is moving at a fair pace. This seems to be taken from about the same spot, but facing south. Well, here we can see incomplete ductwork for the first time, at least today, and what may be an overhead rail system for assembly, though it's kind of tough to tell from this angle, it could also just be a channel for additional utility lines. I don't know, what do you think? This is from, again, about the same area, though a little bit further south. We're looking out through the loading docks on the west side, and the cinder block wall you see is the stairwell. Again, everywhere you look, more scissor lifts, which supports the theory that the interior work is moving along quickly. This one's a lot like the first picture, but a bit wider shot. The catwalk is more evident, and to the left we can see an assembly line taking shape. 
Uh, one takeaway here is that the main power has yet to be switched on. Most of the light fixtures do not appear connected to anything, and they do not appear to be operational at this time. These are not security cameras, but mountings for a utility track that has yet to be installed. These images are important to see because there's been a lot of discussion about how far along the interior is since we can't generally see it. I've held the belief, based on watching earlier Tesla factories being built, that from the time the walls go up until that particular area is complete is about four months. But I've gotten some pushback from contractors and people who actually, you know, work in the industry. I don't work in construction, commercial, industrial, residential, or otherwise. I just crunch numbers. So while I may still be wrong, this is at least an encouraging sign that things are indeed progressing nicely. I have been noting these double column sections that you see here as fire breaks on my tracker, on my site map, though I now realize they're more likely expansion joints. I do not believe a wall will ultimately go here, but if you know what they're for, you know, let us know. There's just plain a lot of stuff in this picture. For as massive as the construction site is, it's still awfully full. This is the apparent southern end of the assembly line, or maybe it's just a break in it. You can help me figure that out. There's another picture coming up that might suggest there's a little break, like for a driveway, and then it continues. So it could continue further south, uninterrupted. It would require cutting the concrete to allow for rigging underneath, but it could just go up and over that section where other goods and materials can pass through. So here's the assembly line close up. Yeah, you can see the floor is cut out, or rather, the concrete was never poured there in the first place. There are ducts on the floor, you can see, awaiting installation, and you can see the areas where they're likely to go with the hardware to attach them already in place. This is, again, around the same area. Outside these openings is the highway over there. The floor in this section is dry because it was poured earlier and doesn't require further curing, though there's still some standing water and, and an awful lot of dirt tracked in, but you know, that's what work boots are for, I guess. This is a bit further down the building and facing south by southeast. The light you see coming in is from the central corridor. Considering there are around 2,000 worker cars on site during the day shift alone, and surely no more than a third of them working out where we can see them, it's reasonable to assume that this area will look very different in even a week or two as these contractors finish up and move on to new areas and different contractors come in to do the next steps. There is already control equipment being installed, though you can see the power to the area is still temporary. This starts to give you an idea of just how massive the building is. There are pictures like these that could be taken from another 10 parts of the building and on as many as three additional floors, giving you completely different perspectives. Unless factory tours are offered in the future, we will struggle to understand a just how massive this building is. Again, despite the lack of exterior walls, you can see the extent to which the interior is being completed. While this area may still be months from true completion, this is a section where my Giga Math Tracker series hasn't even begun to count it. You can see there's no wall, it's not counted. If they get the walls up, Today, it would then start the four-month march toward completion for my tracker to count it. Buddy, by the time that wall goes up, this section's going to be like half done or more. A break area is seen here. This appears to be just a bit farther south than the previous pictures and looking back up toward the north where we saw the assembly line just a few pictures ago, which you can see, you know, here. 
So let's get out of this area. This is the Stamping Cathedral, looking south. I honestly expected to see more machinery in here, but the factory is designed to handle more than one model, so it's my guess that the equipment we saw being delivered is on the other side of this blue wall. So let's look at it from down at the other end, looking back this direction. This is the far end of the same area. The magic must be behind that wall. We haven't seen any test stampings yet, so it's possible they haven't reached the testing phase. You can see that on this side, the bridge crane rails have not yet even been installed, suggesting that future expansion is still pretty far off. By the way, these massive concrete columns were brought in not on an 18-wheeler, but on rigs as big as 56-wheelers with pilot cars. And for scale, this is a person. So that's it. What did I miss or misunderstand? Leave me an earful in the comments and a stay tuned, a stay juicy, and I can't wait to hear from you clever robots in the very near future. And if you're still here, maybe gently press that like or subscribe button because YouTube is one of, if not the himself, devil. And it's the only way they know to actually show this video to people who actually like it. And, you know, it's just a lot of work.